Hello again. So I've been meaning to make a second one of these videos for a while. Hopefully this is going to work, but uh, there's a second. I made a video a while ago that was like a how to get a girlfriend advice from Jeff. And so there's a second step to this if you made it through the first video. And this might be more for Canadians and probably the same in Finland and Norway and Sweden and Russia and that sort of thing. But uh, if you haven't seen the first video, I'll start with the first. Uh, but the basic idea here is, and no one tells you this, uh, there's a free way uh, to get in shape in Canada and Russia and Sweden and Norway and all that sort of thing. Which is the snow that falls every winter. It's heavy, it's not too hard to move around. And moving it around does wonders for your back and arms and uh, upper body strength. So every Canadian reading this should have a snow shovel. If you don't have a snow shovel and you live in Canada, get on that. Canadian Tire sells them. Pretty much every city in Canada will have at least some sorts of them. If no one sells them, find a used uh, place. I'm sure someone around you will have one. You got a nice one that's not going to fall apart when you pull a good 5-10 pounds of snow. Get the snow shovel under the snow and lift. Try to keep your back more or less straight as you do this. Otherwise, your back's going to get sore. And it's not so good to have a sore back when you're trying to go out and impress women, that sort of thing. But the more you shovel, the better shape you'll get in. And it's free. Now, the cool thing is that you don't even have to shovel your own snow. You can shovel other people's sidewalks other people's driveways. You may want to ask them first. But just lift and clear as much snow as you can with your shovel out of the way. And so this is another hint that if your parents, if you're still young enough to live at home, uh, if your parents are telling you to go shovel the snow, you should take you should say thank you and go and shovel it because they're doing you a favor. And if you leave your snow without being shoveled for too long, you'll get what I have right now, which is ice. You don't want, if your date is coming over, your date to slip on snow and ice. That would be very bad. So the Second lesson you want to learn from me is make sure there's a path of uh, snow that you have shoveled and put a whole bunch of work into shoveling that snow. Go out. If you're not in good shape, shovel other people's sidewalks. Shovel all the way downtown in your city. Go just There's snow to shovel. Just find it and clear it for people. People will be thankful. That you went out and did this. And who knows, you might have people while doing it. Yeah, it might be a little weird that you're the one guy shoveling. But there's actually a lot of people, usually older people, who go out and shovel. Some cities don't let you put snow on the road. Don't put the snow on the road. Usually there's a place to put snow. In my case, it's my front yard. Some places have little uh, uh, snow plows that go along the sidewalks and maybe the roads. Uh, sometimes you can let the snow, uh, you can let them deal with the snow. But again, it's free workout. Go for it. So in any case, I'm going to get back to this shoveling. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and took something from it. Uh, any questions uh, about snow, snow shoveling, feel free to ask. And uh, see you next video.